Hi, it's Melanie from It Happens in a Blink.com, and I am here checking in with you regarding the Wilton Cake Baking Basics course that I've been taking through Craftsy.com. I just finished up lesson four, which was about making the filling that goes in between the layers of your cake. And the I've never actually made a filling to go in cake before. I've always just used frosting. Um, but this time I decided to go ahead and make the filling that she recommended and she made it look so easy on the video but she did have one like, kind of big red flag in the way that she was preparing the filling so that you didn't actually wind up with your eggs being scrambled. Well I thought that I had followed exactly what she said but I, I did add a, wind up with some like scrambled egg consistency to the filling and I'm just going to be transparent and show you the filling. I don't think that it looks very good. I think it looks kind of gross. I did take a bite of it and you can kind of taste like the scrambled egg part in the filling. So this is definitely going in the trash. Um, I'm not sure if I'll try that again. If you watched um, the video from lesson three, you know that I did redo my cake and it turned out great. I don't know about the filling though. The filling was actually kind of time, time consuming to make. She even mentions in the video that it's a labor of love because you have to stand there and whisk it and you just have to be so precise and I'm not really sure if for somebody who's taking care of four kids and doing this at the same time if that's really going to work so I don't know if I'll try it again. Um, some people in the forum had said that they were also using maybe pudding as um, something to put in between the layers so I don't know. I'll let you know what I decide but so far lesson four I think I would have gotten an F on this so anyway. Check back in with me after I complete lesson five. Bye guys.